Right, well it's the end of the year, it's about time I did some videos, uh, various projects I've been working on over the last few months, some of which I can uh, show and tell. Uh, some of it needs to be up close though, so I've acquired a little USB microscope, this is a 1280-720, a Teslon brand, they do actually make some high-end endoscopes for industrial uses, so it has a reasonable pedigree, it will focus from about 5 millimeters little focus wheel here right away up to about 500 although the picture is a little bit grainy that far up had a few problems with the USB connector because this is designed to fit phones as well so it's one of these little flip down uh, plugs I found that putting it into an adapter actually seems to work quite well it could also be that the USB port I'm using isn't putting out quite enough power for this thing but uh, I did manage to get some reasonable image quality out of it uh, the stand it comes with is pretty appalling to be honest, so uh, I shan't be using that. Instead I've cobbled together a kind of retort stand here from uh, a block of steel I had lying around and some steel bars and then some little thumb wheels so that I can adjust the height on this. Uh, it's a bit of a contraption but it works reasonably well. Uh, I did have a look for proper chemistry retort stands but it turns out the good ones are actually quite expensive these days. Uh, so uh, easier just to recycle some bits I had lying around. So this is going to come in quite useful now that I've got it working. Uh, one thing that didn't work very well, however, was my cheap £1 microphone, which I got off eBay a while ago. And this thing works fine uh, on my home PC. It's a little bit quiet, but I can boost that. But on my workshop PC, this thing is pretty much inaudible. So I've got to do something about that. What I'll probably end up doing is just buying a new microphone, to be honest, possibly a USB one. But in the meantime, uh, I want to get this up and running so that I can actually film off the USB microscope and the audio through the microphone at the same time. But it ain't working, so I'm going to build a little amplifier. Uh, I did a, an amplifier circuit a while ago for somebody which was dead simple and it worked. So I'll probably recycle that and uh, with a bit of luck it'll just be good enough for now to get things up and running and then we'll invest in something a little bit more sophisticated at a later stage. Okay, and um, this is the fairly simple circuit that I've come up with. It's just a dual transistor class A amplifier. I could have done this with an op amp and possibly got better results, but then I would have wanted to use a decent op amp with split rail supplies and it would have started sprawling. So I'm going to keep it simple. Uh, two stage amplifier using exactly the same components, same uh, capacitor values, same resistor values, same transistors, everything as simple as I can possibly make it. If I run the simulation, you can see that here I'm, uh, when it comes up, simulating. Uh, maybe I want to run that for a little bit longer because this is a one second sample. Uh, and basically this is uh, a chirp, in effect this is a frequency sweep which I generated in audacity. Uh, and it's a nominal one volt peak to peak. There we go, one volt peak to peak signal from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. That's then going through a 1,000 to 1 voltage divider because having measured the output from that microphone on the oscilloscope, it's down in the sub millivolt range. So uh, my output is down here at well 700 microvolts peak to peak. That's because it's coming in here through this capacitor which will be attenuating the signal slightly. Uh, and then if we follow it through, we get a bit of amplification here and a little bit more amplification here. So by the time we've capacitively coupled this thing into our output, uh, we're getting 200 millivolts peak to peak, according to the simulation at least. So we're going from that to that. And what I might do is put a, a, a variable resistor in one of these, maybe just so that I can tweak it and see what happens, uh, adjust the thing in case the, uh, the gain is a little bit too loud. Uh, but I think that will probably do, uh, at least until I get a slightly better microphone ordered in. So this is what we're going to make. Uh, it won't take very long to throw together a quick PCB for this, or uh, engraved circuit board for this as it will be, solder it up, and then we can see if it works and improves my microphone situation.
And here is the finished board. Uh, PP3 9 volt battery box just stuck on the back. And uh, the circuit, which is about as minimalistic as I could get. I actually, if I can uh, focus up close, I actually got rid of the capacitors on the input and the output and just put wire links in there instead. I uh, could always add those if there's a problem. Uh, but it didn't seem to make a lot of difference when I prototyped this on a breadboard. Uh, obviously the microphone is itself a capacitor, an electric microphone. It's just uh, essentially a pre-polarised uh, capacitor. And on the output, well, who knows what's going on on the input to the PC sound card. It may be capacitively coupled. Uh, but anyway, they didn't make a lot of difference, so I got rid of them. Uh, and that's it, about as simple as I can make a little preamplifier. So I've marked up which is the input and output. And my microphone, a very, very cheap microphone, which is already broken off eBay. I think I paid 99p for that. I did try it with a professional Shure SM58 radio mic, and I wasn't getting any significant difference. So I think it's more to do with the amplification. And then a, a bit of a cutaway notch on this side so that I can get this 3.5mm to 3.5mm extension lead in. And with a bit of luck... Uh, when I stick a battery in that, assuming the battery's okay, because there's no power indicator on this thing, or a switch, or anything, uh, but with a bit of look, that'll give me a slightly amplified sound signal and something I can work with at least uh, until I get a decent microphone sorted out. So, only one way to find out, uh, plug it into the PC and see what happens. Right, and here we are with it plugged in. The sound isn't fantastic there's a lot of wires lying around this isn't shielded in any way so it's picking up some background noise from the PC uh, but it is amplifying the signal reasonably well uh, if I plug it into the other end I've got a, a double adapter here so this will effectively be cutting out the circuit and just putting it straight into the PC microphone socket and you will hear the difference or rather won't hear the difference Whereas if I come back in this end, you should be able to hear me again. So it's not as good as getting a decent microphone in, which I will probably have to do at some point. I'll have a look around for something that looks like it will do the job. Maybe I'll try a USB one. Uh, but for a quick fix, that seems to be working. Uh, I think we'll call that quits for the time being. Uh, it at least gets me something that I can work with. Uh, and it'll do for now, I guess. Well, you couldn't make it up, could you? I got all of that done and working and the wire pulled out the back of the microphone. Uh, they're tiny little wires, I think my chances of soldering that back on are slim to zero and considering it only costs 99p, I don't think I'm even going to try. I think uh, the joke's on me and I'll take the hint, don't be a cheapskate, just go buy a decent microphone.